After years of negotiations, the Downtown Investment Authority and the Laura Street Trio developer reached an impasse. Yeah, so the DIA is scheduled to discuss ending the conversation with the Southeast Development Group. And according to our news partners at the Jacksonville Daily Record, the developers support that idea. News for Jackson reporter Chris Will is joining us now live. And Chris, while the talks with the DIA board are just about done, the plan to renovate the historic buildings may continue. Yeah, Steve Atkins, who owns the trio and is the principal of the development group, says he plans to just go straight to the Jacksonville City Council. So while talks with the DIA may be over, he says the plans to try and develop will continue. I'm going to give you a live look now at what the scene looks like right now. As you can see, the fence is still up. They're still promoting the hotel that is hopefully going to be here one day, even showing still the renderings. Atkins has owned the historic building since 2013 with plans to renovate them. The DIA board was set to consider a resolution today to end negotiations negotiations on the latest proposal and now it appears that Atkins agrees. Atkins told the Jacksonville Daily Record quote in my mind there's nothing more important for downtown now that the stadium deal is done. This is front and center and the only way I think something is going to happen is if we work directly with the city council. DIA documents put a $194.2 million price tag on the renovations with Southeast requesting about 89 million in city incentives. Those numbers, according to a DIA report, put the city, quote, at risk and is seen by staff as not worth consideration. Now, the DIA agenda for today still has this topic on the agenda, but DIA is recommending, quote, that it is not in the best interest of the city and recommends that city council reject the de developer's request for incentive. Reporting live in downtown, Chris Will, Channel 4, the local station.